Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No No Films. Today we're going to make another iTunes tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to make a smart playlist as requested by one of my subscribers. I'm going to uh, begin by opening up iTunes here. This is iTunes 12 um, which you receive through uh, when you upgrade to OS 10 Yosemite which I do highly recommend myself. Now as you can see here we have uh, our standard playlists and then we also have these with the gear play playlists meaning these are basically smart playlists these are your normal playlists as you created by by going file new playlist and from here you can just this is a standard playlist you also have the option to create a smart playlist and then a playlist folder which is basically a playlist folder is you put other playlists within that folder. Also at the very top of iTunes, I mean at the very bottom of iTunes, bottom left hand corner, you can go ahead and uh, edit playlists here. If you have a playlist selected, you can edit them with this little gear or delete them as well. Or you can simply right click them and delete. But uh, for now, we're going to create a smart playlist. So at the very bottom left hand corner here, have this little plus button. Go ahead and select it and go to our new smart playlist. You'll see this little pop-up window pop up. It will give you options such as match the following rules. Um, smart playlists, you can add rules to the playlist where you can actually create, um, for example, let's say the top 25 most played is created the same way as I'm about to create this playlist. And what we're going to do, let's, okay, we want this playlist, for example, to have, we want it to be all songs that start with an A. How about that? Let's just start with that. So we're going to go from here, we're going to go artist. So the, match the following rule. Artist, instead of artist, we're looking for name because we want to change it since it's going to go by name. But as you can see, you can go by several album, album artist, um, date modified, date added, almost last played, um, last skipped, which is quite a fun. There's quite a lot here, but the one we're looking for is name. So right here, name. So name and then contains. What does the name contain? Okay, we want it to does not contain is or is not. Begins with, the name begins with. Like we said, we want it to, our rule is we want all the songs that begin with an A to be in this playlist. So we're going to go with A. And limit to 25. You can limit to 25 songs, but I just want all the songs that I have that start with an A in this playlist. Items selected by randomly, that's fine. Um, this, Since we don't have this check box, box none of this is going to be included. And this is match only checked items, meaning let's say you have songs that are checked. For example, like, like, like so right here. Um, those songs will be, those are the only songs that will be included. But we want all of our songs, names that begin with an A to be in this playlist. So live updating basically meaning, let's say you added a new song to your iTunes library, it will be automatically added in here if it starts with an A. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this playlist. Um, this is a little plus sign here as well. You can add an additional rule. Actually, before I go off, it's probably make sense. Also, additional rule. Let's say it begins with an A, but also it ends with uh, another or yeah, you could go with the name also, and it ends with, a, like for example, N. Then you're going to be limiting yourself a lot, like basically to very few songs. So I'm going to minus that rule. We're only going to do one rule for now, and uh, this is just the basics of Smart Playlist. You guys should get a good handle on this. It's very, very simple to create a um, Smart Playlist. So I'm going to go ahead and hit click OK, and uh, this playlist should auto-populate random, um, auto-populate with all the songs beginning with an A. So we're going to hit OK. The playlist is randomly named A. You can also click on it once, or you can go right-click on it and edit Smart Playlist to change the name of it, but you can just, if you click on it once, if it's highlighted like this, and then click on it once right at the beginning of the letter, you'll be able to change the playlist. And then say, I'm going to name this playlist All a's and now you can see within the playlist you can actually see that all these songs begin with an a all on me air and i don't actually have that many songs that begin with an a atmosphere abracadabra act three and as you can see it's basically created this playlist for me with all a's and that's that's the basics of creating a smart playlist you guys um i hope you guys hope that was understanding <laughs> i hope i made that clear and um understandable thank you guys for watching catch you guys in the next tutorial but be sure to leave a comment or any questions in the comment section below and i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible thank you
Life be the proof, the proof of you.